excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, well, welcome back to Holistic Health Tips. This week, as you can see, I'm talking about exhaustion, a lack of energy, feeling in a bit of a slump, a funk. You know, we all go there. We've all had those moments. And maybe your moment is lasting a little too long. Um, I know for me, when I started my health journey, it was because I you know, now realize that I had a severe case of chronic fatigue, you know, severe depression. I literally slept for six months out of a school year. I, I missed so much school that year, it was unbelievable. And, you know, I, I look back now and I realize that the reason I was in such a horrible place is due to a lot of psychological and emotional stress that I was just completely overwhelmed with life in so many ways that for me to just shut down and check out was the easiest way to avoid it all. So this week I want to talk about, you know, what causes exhaustion, what causes chronic fatigue because, you know, we've all had episodes where we're just not, you know, feeling our best, we're a little bit off and if it's just a few days then hey, you know, that that's actually normal. The human organism functions on a bit of a, you know, oscillation. I've talked about this before. We we have a natural expansive contractive energy, you know, we breathe in, we breathe out. We you know, we have a natural flowing rhythm in health, but it's when it becomes excessive and are blocked in some way that we find our energy flow and our own health becomes stagnant and blocked and when that happens then disease sets in and you know severe illness so this week's blog is about finding out what's causing your exhaustion because we all have different reasons it's not as simple as one two three it's not well is it a psychological one reason is it an emotional reason is it just a physical reason or it could be a combination of all of those and so as an individual what i want you to try to kind of do is try to listen to your own body and understand What's causing my severe exhaustion or, you know, just even if it's a low grade chronic exhaustion, what's the causation? Because in true healthcare, that's really what it's all about. It's finding the cause, eliminating the cause, and then your body can go back to, you know, functioning freely as it should. Your body knows how to function in health if you give it the right mm, scenario. So in my blog this week, I talk about is it a psychological reason and how to understand if it's a psychological reason. Is there excessive amounts of worry or stress going on in your life? Is it external stress or is it internal stress? Do you cause it, you know, the, do you cause yourself stress or is it from like a job or, you know, a family situation or whatever? What's causing that psychological stress? Is it emotional stress? A lot of us carry around a lot of emotional baggage. I blogged about this before. And, you know, I probably always will because we're human, we have emotions, I get that, but what happens is we tend to carry and we take that emotion and we bottle it up and we don't know how to fully resolve it and so it becomes a weight in our system, literally, and it bogs us down and it causes us to be exhausted, it blocks us and it blocks our flow of energy. And if that's what you're, you know, like I said, we all know depression can cause, you know, severe amounts of exhaustion and people just shut down. But you know what? Anger and rage can do the same thing. So can grief. So can fear. Fear makes you feel foggy headed and, you know, kind of dopey and out of it because you just, you know, you're so overwhelmed with it that you don't know how to cope. There's so many emotions that we're never taught how to properly deal with. So in my blog, I actually talk about, you know, ways to help resolve the emotional and the psychological. The other thing that I want to talk about is it could just be a physical. Sometimes we just physically, you know, overdo it. A friend of mine was doing the, um, the Tough Mudder course on the weekend and I would bet that he's not feeling up to doing too, too much right now because that's a physically exhausting course and if it is just physical exhaustion then you know honor your body rest recover let it heal if there's you know some injury of some sort because you've really physically overdone it then you know what there's great homeopathic remedies out there that can help the body heal and repair faster because hey if you're like me you know, I don't want to be down too long. I I love my uptime. I like to go, go, go. I got a million and one things I got to do. Right now, I'm trying to finish a reno, and I'm trying to work on, you know, a new book, and I'm looking for a literary agent, and I'm trying to get my course going. And, you know, I go, go, go. That's the way I am. I like being up and going all the time. I run on high octane. I don't use regular fuel, and that's okay. But I've learned over the years to honor when I just, you know, 
mm, this past weekend, I just needed some downtime. And that's what I did. I had friends over. We had a campfire. We, you know, had some good food, some good cheer. We just enjoyed each other's company. And I slept in a little bit and relaxed and, you know, did a few things here and there, but just didn't overdo it because I just needed a few days to just do nothing. We all need those days, and that's okay. And that honoring that is vitally important to your own level of health. Knowing when you're up, you go. You go and you do what you need to do, and you feel great, and you get lots of stuff done. But recognize that energy and realize that, you know, I'm not feeling so energized today. I just don't feel like doing that much. Then don't. You know, you need to learn to listen to yourself. We need to all learn our own energy flow and our what makes us tick and what, you know, works for us doesn't work for everybody. So this week's health blog and tip is all about energy and listening to your energy flow and honoring your energy flow and knowing when you're up. Great. Enjoy it. But know that you're going to come back down because it's just a natural function of being human and love and honor that downtime too because sometimes it's fun. At least for me, I love having a down day where I can just snuggle up on the couch with my daughter and watch a good girly chick flick. It's nothing better. So honor your energy. Enjoy your week, and I will see you back here next week. So this has been Andrew Coulter from Holistic Health Tips, Holistic Health Care. In true resident health, take care, and I'll see you back here next week with hopefully a little bit more energy to boot. Take care.